Hi, this is Lee Goldstein from the NewsTraders.com, and over the past day, we've had four news reports in a row that we've traded using our JOBB software. All trades were winners, and I'd just like to show you the results of these trades. The first trade was Australian building approvals. It was a 9.30 p.m. trade. You can watch as our software automatically puts the orders on the chart to avoid confusion and errors. The news result was very different from what was expected. It was very negative, and because of that, it caused the Australian dollar, which we're trading, to drop very quickly, and in a matter of 14 seconds, we had made a small but nice little profit of $60 in less than 15 seconds. So that was trade number one, Australian building approvals. Trade number two was the ADP report an employment type report. The numbers again were very bullish, so we would expect that gold would drop on the report, but again, it was a very slow moving report. Um, not quite as uh, fast as Australian building approvals, which surprised us by the move that it made. Normally the ADP is just the opposite of building approvals. It's usually a fairly good moving report. This morning it just sat and it sat, even though the news was very much in our favor, we were brought into the trade short. Gold generally goes down when the news is positive, and you can see the trade just didn't really move much. We took a lot of heat. So as the trade went on, I was shrinking our stop, shrinking our risk, and I was bringing our targets closer to the current price. By the time the trade was over, and it was about a minute that it took, and you could see I was still shrinking the risk so that if we did get stopped out, we wouldn't lose very much money. We had a profit from last night. And what's going to happen is the report is going to cause the gold index to just drop a little bit more, hit our target, give us a tick, and $40 a profit because we were trading four contracts. So for the two reports, we were up $100, and we had two more reports to go. We have ISM coming up, non-manufacturing, which is generally a good report, and then the most exciting report of the week, the oil, the energy report. So you could see here, when ADP was done, we were up $100. And now we get ready for ISM, report number three. The third trade I want to show you is the ISM report, the third profitable trade in a row that we're going to have, 10 o'clock a.m. The report normally is a very decent winning trade. And you can see here the orders again placed on our chart immediately. But the report, even though the news was very positive, gold should have gone down, hit our first target immediately, but it struggled. It struggled for quite a while, and you can see it here struggling. So that makes you want to shrink your risk, shrink your targets, so that you get out of the report, out of the trade without losing money. That's always a critical issue. It then filled, popped down, and because we had shrunk our risk and our targets, we made another $60 on the trade. And now for the final profitable report in a row, I want to show you the energy report, crude oil. The energy report is one of the most exciting reports that we trade every single week at JOBB. Newstraders.com. Every single week, we're not afraid to trade oil at the time that the report is released, even though it's a very dramatic and a very volatile move. And today was no different. There are the orders and the trades over before I can even finish speaking. I want to show it to you again because it happened so fast. So we were up $160 before the oil trade, the energy report. It's a 10.30 in the morning trade, our fourth profitable trade in a row. We were up 160 When the report was over, the trade was over literally in a second. We were now up $420. People talk constantly about there's too much slippage. You can't trade oil. It'll kill you. But this particular trade, we got positive slippage. Our targets were two positions, seven targets, $140 profit. 
but we actually made $260 because it was such a fast trade. It couldn't get out fast enough to give us just seven ticks. It gave us way more ticks. Instead of $140, we made $260. A great ending to half a day of trading, $420. I just wanted to show you a day at the office at thenewstraders.com using J-O-B-B software version 8 with the one-click range trade. This is Lee Goldstein signing out, and I'll see you in the trade room. Take care, everybody.